Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to find slope of a line when coordinates of any two points on the line are given. In my previous video, I told how to find slope if the inclination of the line is given. So here we have to find the slope of the line if any two points on the line are given. Uh, here if you see there are some lines and this line is intersecting these lines at different points. So this line is called transversal line and we have already learned in our previous class uh, these angles are corresponding angles and these angles are equal. So if a transversal line intersecting parallel lines, some parallel lines, then the corresponding angles are equal. And uh, just remember that the corresponding angles are equal. And in the first case, if one point is on the axis, x axis, how to find the slope of the given line? Uh, if you see here, this line on this, uh, this line is intersecting this x axis at x1, comma 0, and uh, another point is x2, y2, q, x2, y2, then we have to find the slope of this line. So here, this distance is y2, and this distance is x2 minus x1, because this is x1 and this is x2. So this distance is x2 minus x1. And uh, it is very easy to find slope in this case because slope is uh, vertical distance by horizontal distance. So y2 by x2 minus x1 for this line, y2 by x2 minus x1 because here y1 is 0 because it is this point is on the x-axis. For example, so this is the slope. For example, if you take any two points P50 and Q93, then slope is equal to y2 is 3 here. So 3 by x2 minus x1. So 9 minus 5, that is 4. So 3 by 4 is the slope of this line. This is second case. In this case, the slope uh, we have to find if the two points are on this line like this. So here, this is a let the uh, inclination of this line be theta. Then this is also theta because uh, these are the corresponding angles. This is a transversal line. These are the corresponding angles. So these angles are equal. And uh, here we have to find the slope. So these are the two points. And here this distance is this vertical distance is y2 minus y1. Because this is x1, y1. So this distance is x1 and this distance is y1. And this is y2 and this is x2. So here this distance is y2 minus y1 and this distance, this distance is x2 minus x1. So here slope is equal to, we know that uh, slope we have to denote by uh, m. So m is equal to vertical distance by horizontal distance. So here for these two points, the vertical distance is y2 minus y1 by horizontal distance is x2 minus x1, this distance. So this is the slope we have to find by using this formula. Here x1 should not be equal to x2 because here x2, x1 are in the denominator. So if we uh, equal these two values, then that is not defined. The denominator 0 is not defined. For example, if you take uh, any two points here, p23 and q95, then the slope is y2 minus y1. So 5 minus 3 by 9 minus 2, that is equal to 2 by 7. So you have to find slope if you know any two points on the line. In next case, if one point is on the x-axis. So see here this point P0, Y1, because here on the y-axis, y x-coordinate is 0. So we have to assume this point as P0, Y1, and next point is X2, Y2. So we have to find the slope for this line. So here this is theta, let this angle be theta. And here vertical distance is y2 minus y1, but uh, horizontal distance is x2 minus x1, but x1 is 0, so x2. So here slope, we can find y2 minus y1 by x2 because x1 coordinate is 0. So directly you can find like this. Uh, this is the example. If uh, two, you take two points, any two points p0, 3 and q9, 5, then slope is equal to 5 minus 3 by 9 minus 0, that is 9, is equal to 2 by 9. Like this, you can calculate uh, slope. This is another case. In this case, if the angle theta is obtuse angle, we know that obtuse angles are from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. In the previous case, the angles are acute angles. Acute angles means from 0 to 90 degrees. You can see this is acute angle. So acute angles means 0 to 90 degrees. But if we take the 
theta is obtuse angle that is 90 to 180 degrees then the line will be like this the inclination of this line is like this so here this is theta this is uh, from 90 to 180 degrees any angle from 90 to 180 degrees so let the coordinates be p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 these are the two points then how can we find the slope of this line so here this is theta and here uh, this there is a linear phase so total is 180 degrees so if this is theta then this angle is 180 minus theta again if you draw a triangle lines like this perpendicular lines then these two angles are equal because these two are corresponding angles so this angle is also 180 minus theta now we know that slope is equal to m is equal to tan theta so here uh, this is the slope but here we have to find tan 180 minus theta is the vertical distance by horizontal distance we know that tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent uh, adjacent side but here it is not theta it is 180 minus theta so tan 180 minus theta is equal to or here opposite side is uh, the distance is y2 minus y1 and here this distance is see here this is x1 because the point here is x1 y1 so this distance is x1 until this point the distance is x1 and this point is x2 so here x2 is less than x1 in the previous case x2 is greater than x1 and in this case x2 is less than x1 so here tan 180 minus theta is equal to y2 minus y1 by x1 minus x2 because it is greater than x1 is greater than x2 so x1 minus x2 from this figure you will understand now tan 180 minus theta is minus tan theta because 180 minus theta is in the second quadrant in the second quadrant tan is negative uh, only sine and cosecant are positive remaining all angles are negative so tan is negative so minus tan theta and it is an even, uh, even angle. So, you have to write minus tan theta. That is equal to y2 minus y1 by x1 minus x2. Then tan theta is equal to, if you multiply uh, this with minus, then you will get tan theta is equal to y2 minus y1 by minus of x1 minus x2. That is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Same like the previous case, but here the difference is x2 is less than x1. So, here you will get negative value because this value is less than x1 value. x1 is minus, so you will get negative value. So, if the angle theta is obtuse angle, you will get a negative slope. From 1 and 2, you can write the slope is equal to same uh, formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1, similar to the previous case, but only thing is if the angle is theta, you will get the negative slope because x2 is uh, uh, less than x1 this is the difference between the previous one and uh, this this now please remember these points the first one is if the line coincide with x-axis or parallel to x-axis then slope is zero if you see here if it is on x-axis then the y coordinate is zero so the slope is zero here uh, the y coordinate is same so the slope is zero here also and here, if the line coincide with y-axis or parallel to y-axis, then slope is not defined. Because here, x-coordinates are same. If it is parallel to y-axis or coincide with y-axis, then x-coordinates are same. So, x is in the denominator. So, it is uh, 0. G denominator in the 0 is not defined. So, if it is uh, parallel to y-axis or coincide with uh, y-axis, it is not defined. And if angle theta, that is inclination of the line is acute angle because inclination means it is in the positive direction from x-axis. So, you have to take uh, that angle. If it is acute angle, that is 0 to 90 degrees, then slope is positive. And if the inclination of the line or angle theta is obtuse angle, then the slope is negative. In this case, the slope you will get as positive here. In this case, the slope is negative. If it is obtuse angle, the slope is negative. And fifth point, if three points are on the same line, you can see from this figure, if these three points are on the same line, then the slopes are equal. If you find the slope between these two points, and if you find the slope between QR and PQ, then the, those slopes are equal. Now, please practice these questions.
like here you have to equal this slope to tan uh, 135 degrees. So find tan 135 and equal to this slope, then you will get x value. And these two questions are from NCRT. In this case, you have to equal the slopes here. First, to find the slope between these two points and uh, from these points, then equal those loops. Then you will get this a by h is equal to b by k is equal to 1. a by h plus b by k is equal to 1. Check with answers. 